Hello everyone, it's Daryl. How you doing? Another cold day here in Michigan. The cool weather is definitely back. It's down in the single digits, maybe low upper digits right now. Um, but who knows? A couple months from now, spring will be here. In the meantime, we're still having car problems. My son Dan is driving his 2004 Aztec to work yesterday or Thursday. I don't remember which. I think it was Thursday, maybe Friday. And it started missing really bad. Misfiring, running sluggish, flashing check engine light, and he works for AutoZone, so he knows you know quite a bit about cars. And he's also studying motorcycle mechanics at college, so he's he, he figured it might be a coil pack, a possible fuel issue. He wasn't sure, but his check engine light was flashing. So what he did was he pulled over into an AutoZone parking lot, as a matter of fact, on his way to his store, and he had him check with the code scanner and the code scanner showed P0305 which is a misfire on cylinder number five and one of the more common causes for that would be a bad coil pack and the GM V6's the coil packs come in pairs like this there's three of these coil modules mounted on top of the coil controller or the spark control module I guess we call it and they plug in on those two prong holes right there and there's a pair of 10 millimeter bolts, one on either side, that hold it down to the spark module. And you have a pair of spark plugs, wires that attach to it. In this case, numbers two and number five. Oops, number two is over there, number five, we'll get upside down. There we go, spin it around, Daryl. Two and five. So, and this spark plug wire goes to cylinder two, this one goes to five. And actually they both fire at the same time. When the um, spark module tells them to fire, they both fire all at once, and one goes to the cylinder that's actually firing, and the other one just shoots down the line and doesn't do anything because that particular cylinder isn't firing at that moment. But anyway, that's beside the point. You get a flashing check engine light and a code that says you have a misfire. Most of the time, it's going to be a coil pack or a coil going bad on your car. So he limped on the rest of the way to work, keeping the speed kind of slow so the check engine light didn't flash. You don't want to rev it too much or push it too much when the check engine light's actually flashing because the um, excess fuel dumping into the exhaust system from the unburned uh, misfiring coil and spark plug can ruin your catalytic converter and your oxygen sensors and cause more problems. So anyway, he made it to his store and him and his co-workers during their free time, I guess they went outside and said, well, we're going to, we could check the coil with a... Uh, Ohm meter, which you could do. Um, you flip it over, you can get a small wire or terminal and clip it into each of these two holes and then test the ohms between the two and it should be between 0.5 and 0.9 ohms and then you flip it over this way and you check the ohms between these two terminals here and it should be between 5,000 and 8,000 ohms. And they were going to take this into the store to test it, but when they got it off they had a quick look at it if you look close here, right there, look at that. The whole coil is split right there, and the crack continues. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's kind of fuzzy. I'm having trouble getting good light here, but the uh, crack continues up the side right here where my thumb is. And it's right there. You can see the crack comes up the side. It's very, very small, but it's there. And once the coil cracks like that, it loses spark energy. A lot of times the spark bleeds out through the crack. I went into AutoZone. I paid about, I don't know, about $35 for a new coil pack mounted on. And the car's as good as new again. But, you know, that's something you can certainly change yourself. These are super easy to change. Two bolts. No wires other than the spark plug wires. Nothing on these. Just clips into place right, right onto the module. Tighten it down with the bolts. Put your spark plug wires on. And you're good to go. The only other thing that can cause an issue is if the spark control module, which is mounted directly underneath this, goes bad. And that can be checked with a voltmeter. What you would do is you would pull this off and then look on the module for these two blades that stick up. Use our trusty voltmeter set to the DC volt scale. Turn the ignition key to the on position, but not the starting or running position. Just to the on position. And then you would check for voltage across the two blades coming up from the spark module and see if you had 12 volts. Or, uh, appreciate you watching. Check that subscribe and like button. 
share this video with a friend who might want to know about this. And have a great day. Bye for now.